Hey everybody, it is Scott the Treasure Coast Picker with another haul video of a couple of items we picked up over the past few days and maybe the last week or two. And uh, let's start off with this Harley Davidson mug that is brand new with the uh, $17.95 price tag on the bottom, if I can get that going the right way. And uh, really nice orange ceramic mug, a funny shape. I'm not sure what kind of shape you'd call this, but it's got great graphics on both sides and an interesting... Uh, graphic on the handle, maybe tribal, call that tribal mug, I don't know. Anyway, we paid uh, $2 for that. Uh, next up is uh, Marky Mapo. This guy's already listed, and I, I, I grew up watching Marky Mapo commercials for Mapo uh, cereal in the uh, 50s and 60s, and uh, this is a perfect uh, example of a uh, little rubber doll. He had a little bit of paint on the back, which I took off with a magic eraser. He was a dollar. And uh, you can't go wrong, Marky Mapo. I mean, there's got to be some nostalgia buffs out there who, who would love to have this. And he's, I've seen some others that are really beat up. Uh, this is not the bank. There's one that has a slot in the back of his head and a plug on the bottom. This is just, I guess, a squeeze toy or just a rubber doll. Anyway, he was a dollar, and I think Marky Mapo will bring some. I got him up for like 40 bucks. So we'll see what happens. Maybe there's some nostalgia buff that would love to have this guy. Uh, next up, it uh, wouldn't. Uh, this game I found for three dollars. It's sealed. It's huge, actually. It's called um, Ultimate Operation Escape Room. I'm not sure why you would have a game for an escape room when you actually go to an escape room and play it for real. But anyway, this thing has got all kinds of parts and things in it for kids, and I guess the uh, requires batteries ages six and up. But the comps on this are around thirty-five to forty dollars online there's quite a few of them for listed that are listed but uh for uh what i say three dollars this uh this should do well uh next up is uh, well, well it wouldn't be uh my video without clothing this is uh the head was not included i bought the in and out burger hat for two dollars uh it's got palm trees on it and it has an adjustable velcro uh strap on the back and uh in and out Burger is pretty popular out west. We don't have them here on the East Coast, but uh, I think this will do well. As this will do pretty well for for a two dollar investment. And let's see what else we got. Not a whole lot here, but um, picked up these music books. I've never tried music books before, but these were like fifty cents a piece. They were a dollar and a knock, and they were selling at half price. This is the original nineteen sixty three Mary Poppins music book and it's got some great black and white uh, photos of the original cast and uh, I think plus the sheet music for some of the songs so for uh, I guess it's piano I don't know but um, it was worth a try it was 50 cents it was it was worth a shot and Disney sells Mary Poppins is popular because they did the re-release of the movie and I think we'll get a couple of bucks for this next another song book Patsy Klein. Again, 50 cents. I took a shot at 50 cents. Uh, I don't know much about Patsy Cline music, uh, Stand By Your Man, or maybe that was somebody else. Uh, <laughs> there is a song she was famous for, and I don't know what it is. But anyway, oh, it's crazy, crazy. That was the song. Um, in any case, uh, maybe I was crazy to buy this, but 50 cents, Patsy Cline songbook, and there are 27 songs in here. It's quite thick, actually. And again, it's a fifteen ninety five original price on the back, so maybe we can get seven or eight bucks for that. And the last one I got in the songbook category is this Disney Afternoon Songbook. It's got a great cover with all the characters on it. Um, a few pictures inside, uh, like little illustrations and uh, sheet music for uh, I don't know how many songs. But there's about it's like there's about 15 to 20 songs on that. And again, this was uh, original price of 13.95. I paid 50 cents. And again, hopefully we can get seven or eight dollars for that. Uh, next up, getting close to the end, this was $3.99. I've, I've cut back on buying Hawaiian shirts because I got too many of them. But this was $3.99, and the reason I purchased this one is it's a Royal Hawaiian. It's very vintage. It's a Royal Hawaiian, and it's bark cloth, which is that kind of a, a heavy, rough cotton uh, feel. And, um, and this is in beautiful shape, and it has these wonderful... Um, you see these Chinese coin buttons, they call these. They look like Chinese coins. And uh, so this is a, I don't know what size it is because it doesn't say. I'll have to measure it out and see. 
but you can see the, the pattern on this is really, really colorful. And it's got that vintage bark cloth uh, material on it. So I think this might bring this might bring $25. And the price on this was $3.99. Uh, what else do we got? Mugs. I found this box of uh, this was $3.99 in a Salvation Army. The box of Ford Mustang coffee mugs, and there's hot chocolate in this. Now, I'm going to believe that the hot chocolate is probably expired, and I was just going to sell them the four mugs together. Then I was looking online at comps, and I find that people are selling the mugs individually for in the, in the neighborhood of you know, $15, $16 a piece. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break these out and sell them individually, and hopefully I can get that you know, 15 bucks a piece for them. And again, my investment here was uh, $4. Ford mugs. There's the there's some, uh, 2014 Mustang GT, and there's a 72 Mustang Sprint, and some kind of Mustang Coupe. I can't read the year. I think 79. But the um, people who own those, and this one upstairs is kind of a generic Mustang logo, but the uh, people that own those individual cars may be interested in buying the mugs rather than the whole set. Uh, getting close to the end here. Oh, Jim Shore. Jim Shore, my wife loves these. I don't think this one's going to make it to a resale. I think she's probably going to keep this for herself. Uh, this was in a dollar ninety nine at uh, Goodwill, down in the Atlantic City area. It has a twenty one ninety nine original price tag. And this is from two thousand two. These things sell for a lot more than twenty one ninety nine now. They've gone up over the years. But this is a rather simple one. It's Santa with a sack, and uh, paid a dollar ninety nine. I don't know if my wife is going to grab this one and keep it or not. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, in the same Goodwill store for $1.99 is this uh, Superman rubberized or vinyl, whatever it is, um, Superman Bank. It's just the bust, and he's got uh, his clenched fists and looks pretty good. There's a coin slot on the back for his, where you put the money and a plug on the bottom. These do not bring huge money, but I need to get some things on my uh, store that are at a lower price, so... At a dollar ninety-nine, that they can get eight dollars for this. And finally, well, not finally, but I got this for two ninety-nine. It's a Magic the Gathering game. It it has been opened, you know, and and good and Goodwill seals these things with tape. I was able to get all the tape off without ruining the box. There's one flap that needs to be retaped that's torn. But this is a Magic the Gathering. Arena of the Planeswalkers Shadows over Innistrad player. A tactical board game for two to four people. I have no idea what this is. There's a bunch of them listed. I think we can probably... I, I'm in for two ninety nine, so I can sell it for less than some of the competition. Uh, but it's it's it doesn't look like it's ever been played with. Although there are two little tiny pieces missing, which I will... There's supposed to be 20 of these uh, red jewels, and there's only 18 of them. So I will note, note that in the... Uh, in the uh, description, but all of the cards are there, all of the pieces are there. Uh, I'm not going to open it because it'll, it'll just fall all over the place. But there's a lot going on. Well, here, I'll show you what the contents are in the back here. You can see there's a lot going on in this game. And I have all the pieces, all the dice, all the markers, all the people, except two little red uh, doodads that are missing. And uh, so for $2.99, I think this was a great deal. And I'm hoping to get mm, maybe $20 for this one, plus shipping. And finally, sometimes you just have to take a chance on things that are, uh, you don't know what they are. I saw this sitting at the Goodwill, same Goodwill, Atlantic City area. And uh, it was, you can see here, it's $3.99. And I didn't know what it was. It's got these buttons in here. And it's got something going on the end here. And it says XT, STX Turbo Force 1800. So I Googled just that. And what this is, it's a meat grinder. Unfortunately, the grinding part, the, uh, the the part that goes in here that you put the meat in, wasn't there. But the motor works terrific. It works a couple different speeds. And so for uh, $3.99, I figured this might go. It's pretty heavy. And uh, these things sell for around 100 bucks with the grinder. So maybe somebody needs a motor, and I can get $30, $35, $40 for this. Who knows? But for $3.99, it was worth taking a chance on. So it's a STX Turbo... Force 1800 meat grinder, and so it's like I say, sometimes it's beautiful condition. It's pink. It's uh, I did plug it in, so it does work, and uh, I'm hoping, like I say, thirty, forty dollars for this. 
I looked I looked all over the all over the thrift store hoping to find the parts maybe in another baggie somewhere but I could not find them and so I said I'll take the I'll take the motor and we'll take a chance to see what happens my wife looked at me and said you're out of your mind but uh, in any case that is it for this haul it's quick uh, in a small haul I've been cutting back a little bit but uh, we're trying to sell our house so I'm trying to bring less into the house because we're going to have to get everything out of the house if it sells. So in any case, I hope you like what you saw. Uh, please uh, comment and subscribe below, and we'll see you again in a week or two. Thank you.